Hello. In this video, I'm going to draw a tick. And uh, ticks are arachnids, by the way. They have um, eight legs. They are quite the interesting thing, considering how uh, ticks usually suck blood from uh, various sources. And they tend to carry a lot of uh, diseases. Believe it or not, and a little uh, history about me, I'm very paranoid about ticks in my area because, um, well, there are a lot of them and I have been, I've been in certain areas where I've pulled ticks off myself before they have latched on. Um, I had a family friend who, uh, he thought he was dying of, um, I don't know, some, some form of leukemia, but it turned out that, uh, it was actually, what do they call it? What do they call the... I can't, I can't remember the name of it for the life of me, but there's a certain uh, disease, Lyme disease. That was it, Lyme disease. So he actually had Lyme disease, but uh, what happened was after he was on the medicine for leukemia, um, his hair fell out and they saw the bullseye because for some reason, apparently sometimes ticks will leave a bullseye. Um, I, I don't know what the relevance is behind it, but after that, they, uh, they realized he didn't have leukemia. So, yeah, that, that's that story. Um, yeah, ticks. Ticks are, uh, you know, they're just trying to live. I believe they track mammals by how they breathe. <coughs> I think that's how they find you in the first place. And they usually jump. So I'm starting off with uh, the head. And it's a bit weird. I probably should make it a little bit more round to add the... Uh, would it be mandibles? Uh, but yeah, I'm always paranoid about ticks and I usually uh, try to put on spray. You know what, it's a bit more pill shaped in this instance. Uh, yeah, I try to put on uh, spray so I don't get um, attacked by them. I have run into areas like, as long as you stay away from tall grass, which it's probably something most people do, um, but on certain occasions, I have, uh, yeah, I found them on me. And uh, yeah, stay away from like tree branches and tall grass, or like brush. I think if you stay on trails, you should be good. But yeah, that was not fun. The person that I was with, um, she didn't understand that uh ticks are a bigger danger and like i don't know we were picking up trash on the side of the road and uh i think she had to go to the er to get a bunch of ticks pulled because like they'll go they'll find places like i think they were in her ear so or, like the the curve of the ear and uh yeah they latch and i think they say there's a certain time limit you can uh, get. I'm ghost. I'm trying to ghost. I, I probably shouldn't uh, try to ghost and talk at the same time. But um, I think they say if you pull the ticks off before a certain time, you won't get Lyme disease. There are some ticks that like burrow as well. So yeah, it's not pleasant getting them removed. Um, but yeah, they are arachnids. And uh, <coughs> there have been a lot more of them in my area. And I don't ever, like, try to dox myself in any way. Um, I mean, not that I have anything to hide. But I, I guess I could share that, like, I live in, like, the Rust Belt. So, um, it's, it's a big area for uh, ticks, I believe. God, you know what? That should be attached more. Yeah, I believe it's a big area for ticks. I want to say a long time ago they used to... Uh, spray chemicals to try to stop ticks but I don't believe they uh, do that anymore and you know probably all of those chemicals are just um cancerous and whatnot but I don't know everything's like a trade-off in my opinion 
Do you want to die from ticks or do you want to die over long periods of time from the toxic chemicals? <laughs> Pick your poison, I hate to say. That always seems like the, uh, the game we play. Something there, too. Um, it's hard to see its eyes. I know they do have eyes, because they're, like, it's really hard to see them. But, yeah, they're spiders, so they probably do all... I'm going to have to Google if ticks have eight eyes. I mean, I'm guessing they do. Yeah, I feel, uh, I feel bad for them. I mean, not bad for them. I mean, like, um, oh, uh, yeah. I, sometime I'll have to draw an inflated tick. Um, sometimes certain ticks will drink a lot of blood and they get really fat. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty gross. Like, I've seen them get really, and they probably like, uh, I think the right word is engorge. They probably engorge on, uh, deer, I believe. The other interesting thing is around the, uh, tick, it's kind of like, there's like, a. How do I put it? There's like its body, then it has this ring. I'm not sure what I would call it. Something like that. Yeah, I've killed many ticks that I've pulled off myself before they uh, had a chance to engorge or burrow. Okay, so since ticks have um, eight legs, and it's on the underside, so you can't see them. But they are there. And you know, it has a cephalothorax because it is a arachnid. Yeah, there are a lot of other weird arachnids that um, few people seem to talk about, and I do plan to try to uh, cover most of those because like besides for ticks you have um you, well you have scorpions you have uh pseudo scorpions you have like whip spiders there are a lot of different uh variations of bugs than one may think many different varieties that um usually be end up being special too certain locales. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to, oh, also on the mandibles, it kind of looks like there's like a thing going around them. I'm not sure what it is. I didn't draw ellipses. I could have done that to kind of show the relationship around the 3D forms. Um, yeah, I'm gonna draw the uh, lines for the legs now. And they're doing a bunch of weird things. You know, I think the legs are like that so they could um, stay on hair and climb hair and probably other plants as well. Oops, sorry, accidentally hit my screen as I was doing a quick comparison. Yeah, the end parts of the legs are very, um, very, in they're, they're like hooks. That's what I would call them. They have like these hooks on the end of their legs. I mean, they don't hurt when they're on you. I mean, they're just, um, it's just so they can get a chance to stay on you. But yeah, I, I, I feel bad that, I, I mean, I'm not going to, but, um, I've like, when, when I kill them, I think like I would they kind of like pop <coughs> as uh, gruesome as that sounds and I have uh, killed them and I've gotten blood on my hand from them because they're like filled with a little blood somehow and uh, maybe from a deer but yeah they're not the uh I think there's a difference between when they're engorged 
versus having some blood in them from some mammal as all as, as I can guess okay now to draw the legs and it's really interesting to see the different uh, perspectives of the legs and it's just it's so hard to think of them as spiders but you know there you see the cephalothorax you know they just have a head and the cephalothorax they don't have their own separate abdomen and thorax and it's all fused in there into the head and you can kind of see a little bit of a connection between it where it's like fused together so now i want to draw the individual uh, bean shapes the shapes that i'm seeing besides the end part are all like these uh they kind of look like cups something like that that's what i'm seeing and i'm gonna start say i'm gonna start over here we can't see all of the initial attachments to the underside of the tick but we can see different perspectives of the legs and i find that interesting sometimes i like to summarize those by like drawing the ellipse that i can see first and then connect it to the rest. And sometimes like I do draw ellipses as circles, but you can draw them as lines. In certain instances, I found that like, if you're looking at the person, well, think of a penny. If a penny's laying flat, it'll look like a straight line. But I have used the advantage of uh, drawing an ellipse rather than like that. I mean, you could do that, but Sometimes I'll just use a straight line. I find it helpful, more helpful than uh, you may realize. And they all connect to each other, kind of like stacking cups. Usually when I make videos like this, it takes a significant amount of time compared to various other insects, just because of the, uh, the eight legs and probably um chattering on a lot as well but yeah it's kind of a bit blurred there there are other legs in which it's uh we're seeing some interesting shapes for the end part and do know that if you ever can't see a leg um, you could always get more reference, learn from them, and understand how their legs attach and hook together from uh, many different directions. I may plan to draw many more arachnids, so do keep that in mind. And I know sometimes I would start with the uh, initial connection point, but sometimes I just start handling what I feel that I should draw first. I know that's a bit strange. Um, it's just something that I've been doing. I don't know if it's the best, but it's what I feel. Yeah, I probably should have started at the <laughs> at the initial connection point. Sometimes I end up eating my own words when I think something is the best method, and I learn that, hey, I probably shouldn't have done that. But I think that's okay. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. Perhaps I don't learn from my mistakes enough. I've realized that sometimes when I draw just real lines, I realize that they should have been a bit of a different direction than I drew. I made it a bit too, like it should have been more straight overall, and I think I made it a bit too curved.
the end here it's really interesting because um we can't see the end part like because it's kind of like folding in on itself but i do see certain areas that kind of show the uh caps i also realized i probably made these connection holes a bit too big going to draw the cap which kind of there's a bit of overlap like right here um, with how the legs are connecting and and don't think you have to execute everything in a single shape I mean it does help in uh, some instances but you don't always have to do that. But it can be helpful. It kind of diverged from the original line that I drew. But we're playing with a lot of different factors here, different perspective distortions and whatnot. Perhaps I should have given more thought to some of those initial lines that I drew. I actually really do like drawing spiders there, or arachnids. It gets, believe it or not, it does get therapeutic. I know I take myself out of it sometimes when I um, talk but I'm doing that for your benefit. Um, I hope it helps, but yeah, it does become drawings. The more I've done it, or the more I draw, the more therapeutic it becomes. And I, I sometimes think to myself, it would be cool if I could do it for a living in any way. Um, sorry, I don't mean to complain. I save that for my other videos. <laughs> I'm gonna like be marked down in history as someone that complains a lot, but oh well. Oh yeah, I made I made this one. It should have been way more like that. I think I'm gonna do that. Like I think I was just kind of uh, gung ho on trying to execute it in a few lines. Yeah, sorry about that. I I think I can get rid of it real quick. You know, I drew uh, ellipses, sometimes I would draw lines. You could also draw uh, partial ellipses in which you don't complete it. Sometimes drawing partial ellipses could be uh, beneficial uh, to overall, to for like all the lines that you draw on the page. I think sometimes may cause confusion when you're trying to uh, draw certain things. And I would always call it line debt. Best kind of debt to have. <laughs> But um, I realize partial ellipses can really help organize one greatly. But yeah, I know it has uh, claws or hooks on the end of its legs, even though they're sometimes hard to see and you're kind of having a bit of 
perspective distortion, but I think it is important to try to emphasize that, even if you could see one. Because yeah, I remember when I would uh, take them off myself, they, they had these very interesting uh, small claws. And I know a lot of insects have uh, claws for like holding themselves on uh, trees and plants and whatnot, but t with ticks, they were like significant. They were much more hooked than a lot of other insects. Perhaps I'm wrong, but that's just what I've observed from my uh, personal experiences. So here we have our tick. I hope this video helps. Um, usually I don't delve into texture and there's a lot of interesting texture going on the back of this guy. He's got a lot of hair on his legs as well. So, but thank you for listening to me throughout this video. If you like the video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you have a question, please ask in the comments. Thanks again to James Robin for this awesome photograph. Bye.